Why my baby does not want to sleep. The sleep like a baby phrase really isn't all it's cracked up to be. Countless parents like you, especially new parents, often find themselves exhausted, frustrated, and wondering if their baby will ever sleep through the night. Don't worry you are not alone. Like other parents, you've read all the baby sleep books, but nothing seems to be working. The truth is according to a survey, more than 70% of infants and toddlers have a baby sleeping pattern problem. However, as your baby matures, his sleep patterns will settle into a more typical routine that you can count on. Until then, you may need to rest when baby rests. A baby's sleep patterns oscillate between what is called light sleep and deep sleep about every hour. It is during the light sleep periods that your baby may wake up depending on his, her state of hunger or discomfort, etc. A baby's sleep pattern will change depending on their age. Generally, newborns sleep about 8 to 9 hours in the daytime and about 8 hours at night. Most babies do not begin sleeping through the night, 6 to 8 hours, without waking until about 3 months of age, or until they weigh 12 to 13 pounds. Sleeping is very important for baby or child. This allows his body to have enough rest to restore his stamina. A good quality of sleeping has an important role toward the condition of a baby and can improve the immunity of your baby. Many parents are surprised at how their babies appear to be deeply asleep only to wake suddenly as soon as their head hits the mattress. What happened? Well, although your baby appeared to be in a deep sleep, she was actually only in a light sleep. If you want to test your baby's level of sleeping before you lay her down, try lifting an arm or a leg. If it is floppy and you can drop it without waking baby, she is probably in a deep sleep, and you'll have a much easier time laying her down. Until your newborn is a little older, you will need to help her go to sleep. Every baby has a distinctive pattern of sleep and waking. As time passes, you'll see that these follow a natural and consistent rhythm throughout the 24-hour day. Sleep patterns affect a baby's behavior throughout the day as well as your baby's health and development. A baby's sleep is affected by bedtime routines that parents establish. All kinds of outside influences can affect a baby's sleep habits, including illness, stress and any change in routine. Sleep patterns change with age and development. Parents, and older children, need sleep, too. Try to harmonize your sleep times with your babies. Below is the sleep pattern stages based on your baby age to give you idea what you will expect about your baby sleep pattern. Although not all babies will follow the same rule as described in this page, but this information can be a good guideline for you. Newborn to 3 months old baby sleep patterns. A newborn baby during the first 8 weeks of life is to randomly sleep from 16 to 20 hours during a 24-hour cycle, but as any new parent will tell you, this is done in short amounts of time. A newborn baby doesn't have the ability to fall into a deep sleep for long periods of several hours like an adult can and a new baby cannot tell the difference between day and night. Newborns have periods of light sleep as well as deep sleep, just as adults do. However, newborns don't spend a lot of time in deep sleep, so they awaken easily. A newborn baby's tummy is also small, and they will be hungry and awake every 2-3 to three hours. However, since they are, after all, new infant humans, they do share our biological drive to sleep at night. In fact, if your baby is put to sleep awake at the same time each night, her infant sleep pattern will begin to change, and you will see your baby sleeping for longer and longer periods by the time your baby is 8 to 12 weeks old. All the leading baby sleep experts agree that the most important step in teaching your baby to sleep through the night is to allow him to fall asleep on his own. Numerous studies have shown that allowing your infant the opportunity to fall asleep on his own is the key to preventing infant sleep pattern difficulties down the road. Research says that young babies learn to use their own natural abilities to sleep through the night, and will fall asleep on their own, if put to bed awake. You can teach your baby the difference between day and night simply by stimulating him, her during the day, and at night, reduce the amount of noise and stimulation. 3-6 to six month old baby sleep patterns. When your baby is 3 or 4 months old, he should have his days and nights smoothen out. He should be sleeping about 9 or 10 hours at night and taking at least 3 naps during the day. In this period, in his sleeping, he will be very active. Sometimes he will smile and looks nervous. He may be waking up at least once at night to eat, especially if he goes to bed early. 
By the time he reaches six months old, he should be sleeping through the night, even though he may be an early riser. He should also be taking two good naps during the day, although he may need another short nap in the evening to tide him over till bedtime. 6 to 10 months old baby sleep patterns. After six months, your baby may again have trouble sleeping through the night. This is a normal development stage often called separation anxiety. They may respond with awakening and crying one or more times in the night. Crying when you leave the room. Refusal to go to sleep without a parent nearby. Clinging to the parent at separation. However, you should eventually begin to see that he is able to stay awake for even longer periods during the day. He still needs at least two good naps during the day, and he still may need a short catnap in the evening, especially if he doesn't go to bed until 8 o'clock or so. You may notice that he stays awake for two to three hours at a stretch during the day before he needs another nap. Her nighttime sleeping should last 9 to 11 hours at night, and while he may wake up during the night, he doesn't need to be fed. As long as he is well, warm, and comfortable, you shouldn't go to him when he awakens. Let him learn to settle himself back to sleep. 10 to 12 months old baby sleep patterns. Once your baby is nearing his first birthday, he should be taking two good naps a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. You probably don't want him to sleep past 4 o'clock or so in the afternoon if you are putting him to bed by 8 o'clock at night. However, each child is different, and you will know what is best for your child. Your baby will also be sleeping close to 11 hours at night. Sleep Pattern Interruptions Obviously, your baby won't follow these guidelines exactly, and there may be periods in which your baby gets out of his routine. If you have moved to a new house or just returned from a vacation, it may take your child a little while to fall back into his routine. Likewise, if he has been sick, it may take a few days for him to get back into his regular sleep patterns. Just be patient and work with your child. He'll become a sleepy little angel again in no time. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.